Ooh, doggy. <laughs> Ooh, doggy. A lot of people know me there. No, I say that a lot. Hey, YouTube world. Ed Kirkpatrick here. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, that old story tonight here now. Boy, it's, it was amazing. Uh, I had not too long ago, I, I, I called my, one of my buddies in the sheriff's office, checking on him. And uh, everybody that knows me knows that uh, I've worked hand in hand with law enforcement, especially uh, game law enforcement for, for years. Uh, anyway, I called call my buddy up, Bob Derek, at SO. Man, what the heck's going on? There's all kind of shootings on the south side of town. Drive by shootings, crap, man. I mean, yeah, Ed, we we trying to get a handle on it, man. We got, you know, that's the hood over there. I said, yeah, I know what it is, but man, they don't need to be shooting at each other. Somebody gonna get hurt. He said, well, one did get hurt, killed, man. Cause our trouble is we, 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 we ain't got any intelligence over there. The, you know, the surveillance and all that to find out what's going on. I said, well, y'all patrolling that area, ain't she? said, well, yeah, we're patrolling it. But uh, we can't be everywhere at once. And, he said, we just got to, you know, we got to get somebody in there on the inside. And I said, well, Bob, I said, uh, you ain't got no officers, you know, that you can send in the hood and kind of playing. I oh, man, they know everybody in the SO, oh, man. They know us from one end to the other. He said, we can take new hires. <clears throat> just got out of the academy. Bring them in. Tell them when they come in on the first day of work. Come in dressed like, you know, they're in a hood. Their pants in their butt and come in there and want to see somebody, you know, they had a problem. They'd be, you know, a new hire right out of the academy. He said, man, they find out so damn quick. <clears throat> they was law. He said, I just don't know what we're going to do. I just can't get any intelligence out of there to find out. It's two gangs, you know. We just got to get in there and bust it up. <clears throat> and I said, well... My daddy always told me you catch more flies with sugar than you do vinegar. He said, well, I ain't wanting to catch a fly. I said, I understand that, but uh, I said, I got a the idea there. Uh, you know, I used it on another deal, something similar to it a while back. Uh, I said, if you got time to listen, I, I'll tell you. He said, well, yeah, I know. You probably got a dang good idea, don't you? I said, yeah. He said, well, <clears throat> I got to run right now. He said, uh, call me in the morning. You know, you think about your idea, call me in the morning. He want to make sure I didn't thought this thing out, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, I called him in the morning. Hey, Bob, got this idea now. You can put people in the hood, check everything out, get intelligence. All right, let me hear it. <clears throat> See, Bob, everybody in the hood, everybody in the world, just about, <clears throat> is afraid of a snake. Yep, snake. And uh, I got this feeling there, if we can... Uh, I was reading the other day about a a mama, black mama snake, Africa. It get 14 foot long and its bite is deadly. You're you're dead within 10 minutes. They come up with an antibody, but it don't do no good because you're dead within 10 minutes. <laughs> Unless you carry an antibody with you in the woods, it's like an explorer or something. I said, it's feared all over the world coming to Africa. South African. <clears throat> he said, well, what has that got to do with the hood? I said, Bob, if we use our brain just a little bit, 
I think you got you got some people in the hood that knows what's going on. They just don't want to talk, right? Just, yeah. So I think we use Facebook, maybe a couple of other things. Just put out a post that somebody's seen a black mama snake over there. And then get somebody else to put another post on Facebook and social media type stuff. Twitter, you know, whatever they're watching. LinkedIn. Neighborhood thing. Yeah, get there, you know, we pop everybody's seen the the, the mom, black mama snake. And uh he said, Well, all that's gonna do is upset everybody. Yep. So what it's going to do is going to upset everybody. I said, but what you got to understand is them people are where in the hood they look at law enforcement as they're going to pick up my grandson or my son or his daughter and throw him in jail. They need to give him more time to straighten him out type, you know. Well, yeah, yeah. I said, if you do that, and when you do it right, <clears throat> and get the paper involved after a day or two, you know, Black Mama Snake spotted over there in Harrisburg, what they call the hood. <clears throat> I said, they're going to be begging for you to come in there. Here's how we get in. Throw together yourself, you know, Georgia Bureau of Investigation, uh, Gang Squad, Oconee Oak Mug Original, uh, Regional Gang, Gang Squads and Drug Trafficking Units. Get the DNR involved. Get the local police department involved and the fire department, but you don't need to tell them to gig. Just let them run security for you. And you take your guys and all these other guys I talked to, and y'all say, okay, we coming Saturday to Harrisburg, and we're going to find that snake. They're going to welcome you with open arms. I say, go in there. Get looking like you're looking for the snake. Get to meet the people, talk to them. If you see somebody got a warrant out on, don't arrest them. Because as soon as you do, it's over with. I said, if you know, you see a drug deal going down or somebody's popping crack, don't arrest them. Ask them if they've seen a snake. And I guarantee you, a crackhead tell you they've seen one, <laughs> whether they did or not. Anyway, I said, go in there and, and <clears throat> meet the people, understand the people, see what their problems are. And, uh, you know, look for the snake and gather intelligence. And then, when all that's over with, <clears throat> you know, put out a little fault to press thing. I said, I can get involved in that, you know. I've caught alligators, my snakes, my pictures been in the paper. You need me to take the fall on that when I'll do it. Don't know where I'm going to get a black mama snake, but we'll come up with one somewhere. We found it. It's over with. All done. And then sit down and analyze your intelligence for two, three, four weeks, however long you think you need to, and then start some operations to see if you can get over there and, and uh, get these young young men straightened out. <clears throat> they won't be shooting at everybody. He said, Ed, you damn brilliant. <clears throat> I said, well, you know. I don't know about that exactly. I know I ain't no dummy. And I know a lot about human interaction, human life. And uh, everybody ain't dealt the same set of cards. But <clears throat> we don't need guns popping off every night. I know that damn much. So, that's what I told them. They did it. It all went through. They gathered a ton of intelligence. I have to give it to them. They, 
I think they went in there about two weeks later and, and they got about seven people that had warrants on them. One was a, a accused child rapist. Most of the other ones had done skipped bond or whatever. And, and they did make a little drug bust. They didn't go high enough up the ladder where it really hurt anybody or whatever. But, yep. <clears throat> yeah, anyway. It was for a good cause. Sometimes you gotta tell a little, won't call it a lie. I guess I'm gonna call it a story. Sometimes you gotta tell a little story. Stretch it a little bit. And uh, who knows what you'll find at the other end of that thing. God bless y'all, Ed Kirkpatrick. Thanks for stopping by once again. and. If you didn't laugh, I didn't do my job. Adios.